What's going on everybody? It's the Super Robot and today we have in front of you the uh, update for the HasLab Victory Saber project. This is the actual prototype. Um, so far we can see what we're pretty much getting. This is pretty much close to final. Of course they're saying final product will vary. So of course there's the paint and other things, but it seems as if we're almost ready for us to get this figure. So it's about May said they'll be shipping around winter time so this is probably be something that comes around maybe christmas or so i don't have any um you know actual updates to that as of yet but we get to see a lot of comparison shots of star saber victory leo and victory saber next to earthwise prime and hound um we can see in these pictures how big the brain master is it comes with blast effects for each mode which is cool um Wow, it's a lot you can do with this figure. So, so far, so good. We have him now. He is, when I say stumpy looking, not, he's not as lean proportioned as the Masterpiece. Um, and I own the Masterpiece. I really always dig the Masterpiece. The Masterpiece was pretty cool to me. Um, and of course, right here again, the same picture we had before, but with the weapons and everything like that. The, the V-Stand, the, I think that's the can V-Cannon. No, not the V-Lock can. That's just the can that comes with uh, Victory Leo. So you can see here, comparison size to Optimus Prime, he's definitely pretty big leader class figure, of course. Comes with the uh, that sword, you know, that's basically, you know, part of the cockpit and everything. Um, quite poseable. He can do a double-handed pose. Um, he's got some shoulder, you know, shoulder fly where he can basically extend his shoulders. That's pretty cool. So we're getting some additional articulation here. And there's the shield that he comes with. I mean, yeah, this this thing is looking good. I mean, you know, if you didn't back this, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I understand, but nah, this is a cool set. The only thing I wish he could do is like how he does in a cartoon where he has like the helmet off and he has like the tiny head, but he's still in like the combined large mode. And they're just showing how the inner robot combines and everything like that. We're gonna show off Saber in a moment. And here is the base mode, which I don't recall him really doing a base mode. He might have, I, I gotta go back and watch Victory, but you know, everything has to be a base, big deal. All right, so we're gonna get the Saber and you can see how tiny the Brain Master is and how it goes inside. Now, I don't think it does the actual sliding in like it did with the original, but you know, it's still going to be a brain master and brain masters are really 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 tiny so he would be smaller than a headmaster and of course saber is a little bit smaller than deluxe hound which deluxe hounds on the small side but you get the picture you get the picture um you know and there's the little tiny jet mode and you know wow this thing man this thing is shaping up to be awesome man he, 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 i'm so glad i backed this and then it's the, you know, I call it the armor portion, you know, and that looks pretty good too. I'm, man, I can't wait to get it. I don't see as much waffling as I thought I would. Um, and then it's showing you here how they combine, which, you know, that's a given. It's probably, if you watch the show, you, you can do this on your own. And here's a combined mode. And wow, it's this thing. Whew, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. And let's continue and then there's uh victory leo now victory leo is voyager size um i know for some people that's kind of a bummer but you know it's hasbro what you expect and you can see from the back these wings do come off and we're going to see that down the, the road here of what those wings can do and here he is standing next to optimus prime and again siege hound and yeah he is that size but he's it's, I get it. I just, the cannon has a lot of waffles, and so hopefully, third party comes to a rescue on that, you know, because that is kind of this is where the waffling is, and I think that's kind of egregious for a fan funded toy. And of course, he's got his big cannon in hand, and I guess they had to make him Voyager size to be in proportion to becoming a uh, victory saber, and of course, he could put it on his hip. And things like that so yeah that's pretty cool what that waffle it makes me mad man. <laughs> you know but all in all this is the first mainline victory saber that's not 
that is Victory Saber and not something else. So we got to be happy with that. And of course, you know, he's a parts former. So when he comes apart, this is going to be the wings. And I didn't do all the pictures. I mean, there's a video on this, but as you can see here, they combine with Optimus Prime. And that's, you know, that's pretty cool. So if they have like a five millimeter bag port on the back, you could actually put the wings on other Transformers. That's cool. You know, probably a feature that wasn't intended, but because of the way it connects to uh, Star Saber, it's probably there. And of course, they're showing how they form, you know, the jet mode, the combined jet mode, um, you know, and that's pretty cool. And of course, in that combined jet mode, it's like super jet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can see the prototype markings on the toy. Oh, I hope the thieves don't get their hands on this one. I'll be pissed. They better be protecting us. And here it is, man, in the combined mode. And boy, oh boy. Woo, when they put the paint on this bad boy, I can't wait to get mine. I can't wait to get mine. Here he is with the cannon. Man, you talking about some people who are going to be... Mm, a lot of people are going to be happy with this one, man. This is... Whoa, ugh, I want this now. I can't wait till later. I mean, you get blast effects. And it's multicolor blast effects, too, which is interesting. Not saying they haven't done it before, but yeah, it looks nice. So overall... I'm pleased with what I'm getting, you know, as being a backer of this, I'm, I'm all for it. I know I didn't go for Unicron, you know, which that's, I could have, and I didn't, and I'm not mad. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just not mad. I don't really, I don't know. I just don't have this, you know, super madness for like a large giant box sitting in my house that I really can't put on stand. So nah, I'll pass. But other than that, it's a great set. I'm happy to get mine. Can't wait. We still got a few months to go. So like I said, it's probably going to be near the end of the year, but you know, we just got to keep on trucking and waiting. So what are your thoughts? Did you back it? Did you not back it? Leave it down in the comments below. Whatever reason you have against this toy, I am for this toy and I'm happy. So again, my name is Super Robot Ed and I'm just bringing you the news of the HasLab Victory Saber.